Hello dear students, welcome back again to Chinmoy's biology channel. So this is for my 9th standard students. It's a set of sample papers. Uh, I hope that you should sit uh, with your 2 hours time, set your clock and revise this uh, paper. So if you are having any doubts, any queries, you just write in my comment box. So today I'll be discussing the set of questions and in the next video I'll be uploading the answers. So I'll be uh, discussing the answers once you finish it off uh, writing in your uh, revision book. So let's st get started with today's revision sample paper one. So your first section of uh, paper is of objective uh, question. So that is a section one. It will consist of 40 marks. Here all the questions should be attempted from this section one. Now in, uh, what are the questions under this section? We'll see. So under this section one, the first question is name the following. So in under name the following, there are five questions. So first one, what is the basic unit of life? This is very easy. You all know the causative agents of AIDS, an animal which belong to the phylum mollusca, a substance that contains an antitoxin, a group of organisms that lack chlorophyll. This is the first question number one. Now next one is explain the following. So explain the following under that you should discuss about what is plasma sol, what is pollination, what is hygiene, what is germination and what is enzyme. So here you see it contains a five marks each. So uh, just look at the marks and write accordingly. So you are in ninth standard now. I think you can write as per the marks given. So don't write it, make it huge as only per uh, question one marks has been allotted. So it's just a one or two line state in a sentence. Now next comes choose the odd one out. So among this you should choose the odd, odd one out. Tibia, femur, ulna, tassels, yeast, rhizopus, mucus, spirogyra. Third one is butterfly, housefly, ant and crab. Fourth one is egg, larva, nymph and pupa. Fifth one is beriberi, scurvy, goiter and mumps. Now next uh, I have given you a table. You are supposed to complete the table. So the name of the disease has been given for you. AIDS, tetanus, malaria, whooping cough and diphtheria. You are supposed to write the causative agent and preventive measures. So just uh, you should write fill in the gaps in this uh, table uh, part. Now uh, if you remember a few weeks uh, back only I have discussed about these diseases causative agents and preventive measures. So please go through that video. If you have not gone through that I'll, I'll I'll try my best to put the link in the description box so it will be easier for you to answer these questions. And now next is study the diagram given in this uh, study the diagram and answer the questions based on it. So I have just covered the labeling parts because uh, it was uh, like uh, I want don't want to uh, show you the labeling. Uh, you just uh, label all the parts of this uh, state the function of each part so you will be discussing about the uh, functions of each part you are labeling how does the given organism breathe so the breathing organ of this organism and what do you mean by ectothermal so ectothermal and endothermal you have studied right so what do you mean by ectothermal you should study so these all are also having five marks so you should write accordingly now next one is select the correct answer from the brackets and complete the following now the opening through which the water enters into a seed is called the micropyle or the hilum. This you should know. The housefly transmits germs. Germs of what? Rabies, measles, typhoid, AIDS. So housefly is transmitting the germs of which type of disease you should know. Now ribosomes help in dash uh, respiration, protein synthesis, secretion or cell division. You should choose the correct answer from the bracket. Seeds without a distinct region of uh, food storage are called dash seeds. So where there are no uh, distinct region for food storage are called endospermic or non-endospermic. You know that. And you obviously know that what is endosperm. So that endosperm is the term where you know the distinct region for food storage, right? So it's very easy. Dash is a fat digestive enzyme, lipase, trypsin, pepsin or tylin. So which is the fat digesting enzyme? So these, these all are very easy questions you have already studied in digestion. So please go through it once and just make a set your clock, write it properly and within two hours you should finish. 
Now next one is state two or false and correct the wrong statement. So coconut is a dry food. Enzymes are pH sensitive. DDT is a DDT is a biodegradable waste. Cross pollination requires abiotic and biotic agents and plants have no sense organs. Five marks each. Jo just write true and false and the false statement should be corrected. Don't miss it. Don't lose it. The false statement should be always corrected. Now the next part also it is also having five marks. Uh, so uh, substitute each phrase with a proper term. Okay, so you are substituting each phrase with a proper term. So enzymes of the digestive system are dash in nature. Vitamins are the uh, vitamins. Which vitamins are water soluble? You should write dash are the building blocks of protein. Small pox is caused by what? You should write that in animals excess of carbohydrates are stored in the form of dash in the muscles. So these are all basic questions. Please write it properly. Now next comes the subjective part or question two. Section two it also consists of 40 marks as your total paper is of 80 marks. So attempt any four questions of these part. On the first uh, section we have told that attempt all the questions. In the second part you are uh, um, uh, to you are uh, supposed to answer any four questions. So the question number two. First one is explain the structure of a bone. What is the difference between self pollination and cross pollination? Now B state the adaptation of fruits and seeds dispersed by animals. How do we propagate the following sugarcane, ginger, potato and banana? So you are supposed to discuss about the methods of propagation. So this also you know methods of propagation of these four you are supposed to discuss. Now the next question draw the diagram of a developing pollen grain. So you know that how the pollen grain developing the pollen tube and all you should write. So what is double fertilization describe the different methods for food preservation give the principle e of each method used uh, with an example of the food preserved using that method. So methods of food preservation principles of each method and an example of food which is preserved by that method. So very easy question. Please uh, do write it properly and don't lose marks. Now next one is question four. give reasons people in Hidi region have swollen necks. Why? Housefly is called the public enemy number one. Why? Enzymes of P are pH sensitive. Most of the food chains contain four uh, to five tropic levels. Now pancreas are an exocrine as well as endocrine gland. So this I have discussed properly because pancreas are called mixed gland because they are having both exocrine and endocrine gland function. Now state four functions of the skin and explain the term fermentation. Now this one is uh, this diagram you can all see right state the three features of phylum mollusca. Now the given uh, figure shows an animal so identify the animal this animal you should identify and to which phylum does it belong. So this also you should uh, write. Now next comes question number six. Uh, what is anaerobic respiration write an equation for it and what is tidal volume. State the disadvantages of vegetative propagation and distinguish between earthworm and roundworm. Now in question number seven we can see the draw diagram of a plant cell and label the following parts. So you are going to draw the diagram very neatly and um, you, uh, you are just uh, drawing it with a pencil and label it properly. Don't use pens and colors in this uh, diagram. So it should be distinct. It should be proper. Cell wall, what are you going to label? Cell wall, plastid, mitochondria, vacuole, nucleus and all. Now next question is what is grafting and describe the method of grafting. Now these all question answers you should just uh, sit and write set uh, your uh, clock at two hours a time and just write the answers. I will be discussing the answers after one or two days. I'm giving you time two days suppose two days uh, within that I'll be uploading another set of questions um, for your practice for your revision before your final exam. So please do it seriously so to so that you can get good marks in your uh, ninth final exams and it is also a good preparation for your biology finals. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to know more uh, this type of suggestive question sample papers if you want to uh, get your uh, biology revision done in a proper way get it done subscribe to my channel and please do share it with your friends so that they can also get the benefit of doing this revision papers any doubts any queries please do write in my comment box I'll surely answer in the next video. Thank you.